Shalom Aleichem, Shabbat Tov, how are you doing? I am... I am the father of Israel Nathan. And of Abraham, you see? Here it is. Here he is. My lovely son of Abraham. And Israel Nathan again. Hi, Srolik. So, are you with me? Listen, guys. I wanted to remind you that we're not only... Um, Jewish people that are keeping Torah and Mitzvot. We're also rebels in the in the army, and uh, we're fighting hard, fighting hard to bring out the hidden truth to the world. Even though that there are many many who resist, who refuse to to accept the fact that there is. A divine truth, a higher truth than the truth that they got used to. The real truth is that the world works above nature and not everything works under the rules of nature. That's why also to serve the Creator is not always just by being religious and obeying and keeping the rules of the Torah there is much more to it. You can bring in a soul into the way that you serve and then it's going to make your work much more spiritual and, and much more deep. And it will bring you to places that just the structure of keeping Torah Mitzvot will never going to bring you. I saw people that were keeping Torah Mitzvot, the rules of the Torah, for years and years and years, and it's amazing, but the truth is that it did not bring them to high spiritual levels, even though that they kept hundreds of uh, holidays and Shabbatot, and um, other people that were very dedicated spiritually, emotionally, were honest people, generous people, they achieved much, much more than just uh, by being observant and, and so-called religious. So I'm reminding you that there is a higher purpose in what that we're doing. And that higher purpose is something that we all need to desire, to find a way to become people of truth, soldiers in the army, of the house of King David, the eternal king of our nation and of the wide world. Sweet Emuna family, I'm telling you, if it's to serve Hashem without enjoying all the wonders and the miracles that the Creator can provide us, it's not worth it. The truth is, and that's the desire of the Creator, is that He will uncover His greatness and that He will show us His beauty and His glory and that He will let the real holy righteous leaders of our nation to lead us to a better future, that there will be no sicknesses, no illnesses, no weaknesses, no poverty, no death, no lie anymore, no cruelty, no pain, no sorrow, no, no, no grief. Only, only good things, only happiness, wealth, holiness, purity, all kinds of, 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 of happiness, joy, and success. And to that we're hoping, and for that we're aiming all of our effort and all of our power we're putting into that to reveal and to uncover the real light and beauty of the Creator, the true potential of us as His followers. And may from heaven all of our prayers and requests will be answered. Amen. Thank you very much. Have a blessed week. The temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.